Three weeks ago, we revealed our 2014 Player of the Year Midseason Watch List. Since then, you fans have been all over social media getting us your votes. Tonight is the night that your voice pays off. It's time to reveal our GG POI semifinalists. And now we welcome Avery T. Jennings to the desk. Ravery, you're almost done at this point. It's already week eight. Oh yeah, Nate, there's just a couple weeks left and this is when the lights really start to get brighter and those standout players earn that lunchroom reputation. We're down to 15 semifinalists for the Player of the Year award and three of them play up in the MVL. Brock Fargus led Tri-Valley to yet another win tonight. He's thrown for at least 150 in every game this season. On the other side, Levi Ray struggled. Next week, Chase Roberts leads Maysville against that stout Scotty's defense. Logan lost its second straight game tonight against Zanesville, but Lane Little still the man. Highlights from that one coming up in a bit. Jackson won again. Hunter Sexton and Regan Williams are on their way to hosting a playoff game in that tough Region 9. Over to the Hawking. They've got the most reps on our list. Jenkins down sheets. And how about Manny Tullius having himself a year? Belfry's playing Parkersburg Catholic tomorrow night. They're trying to stay in the hunt for a playoff spot. Well, great story out there in Belpre. Nice to see them really turn a corner in the TBC Hawking this year. Avery, what about those guys from Athens? Well, Nathan, I'm glad you brought them up. Athens offense is putting on a show every Friday, so we're giving the whole unit some love on our show tonight. 61 points a game this season, 82 tonight against Wellston. Joe Burrow injury news coming up in the point after, by the way. Alex Mount, he's running hard for a Nelsonville team, trying to get back in the playoffs. And finally in the Mountain State, Point Pleasant had a tough test tonight. Stick around for Game of the Week highlights to see how that backfield duo did against Ravenswood. Shout out Garrett Gilkerson, balling for 5-2 and two Parkersburg South as well. That's 15 semifinalists. Nathan, one of them will be our Gridiron Glory Player of the Year. And I'll be back in a couple weeks to try and cut this list down to, to five finalists. Well, we've got quite a list already. Cutting it down to five, it's going to be awfully tough. I'm glad it's your job, Avery. Uh, thanks a lot. We're really looking forward to it.